Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our training, our training exercise. Today is the fifth um, chapter of our learning series. And it's a pleasure and a joy to always have you here on board at Next Edge Technologies. So today promises to be quite exciting because the agenda for today is simply um, something interesting on the cloud, popularly called IAM, which means Identity and Access Management. You will find this Identity and Access Management in everything you have to do on the in tech, in technology as a whole. It's not only peculiar to cloud, it's peculiar to all things IT, all things computer science, computer technology. So today is dedicated to that because as cloud engineers, it's important for us to explore and know these things because we'll be needing them in the course of our work. All right, so that's what we have today. As you can see from the agenda that I've written, we are going to understand identity and access management in Google Cloud Platform. Another agenda is that we will grant permissions on various layers. So you remember in chapter one, I had mentioned that in Google Cloud, there is organization layer, folder layer, project layer, and resource. So today we will grant permission on all these various layers. We will see how what it looks like. And we are going to particularize some of these permission stuffs. Then finally, we will create our own folders, individual folders, and grant access to users in these folders. Okay. So that's what we have today. So as you can see, IAM is the header. And I've written that. I am, which is short for identity and access management, is a concept in cloud computing or cloud engineering, however I want to call them. It's a concept in cloud computing and information technology as a whole, as in, in tech, that allows you to grant access to users or groups in your cloud environment. For example, with identity and access management, you can grant different kind of permission to a user or group to access your Google Cloud Platform organizations, folders, projects, and resources. So what that simply means is that with this identity and access management, you will not have that privilege or the opportunity to give any person, users in this case is a person or group, a group is what contains people, right? You can grant permissions to these persons or groups to your cloud environment, such as you can grant them to your project, you can grant them to your resources, your virtual machines, your VPC networks. You can grant permissions to people. You can grant permissions to your folders in your cloud, which we are going to see today. You can also grant permission to your organization. The reason why this is necessary, especially for cloud engineers, is that you don't want to grant excess permissions to people. So as cloud engineers, you only give permissions to people for what they need. If you give them too much privilege, it could affect your organization. It could even expose your organization to things like harm and all that. So you give people what they need so that they function well. This is all made possible by identity and access management. Okay. So this is why it's important for cloud engineers to know this thing. I hope that's clear. So we'll move on to the next slide, which is simply to jump into the action right immediately. But meanwhile, does anybody have any question to ask um, about this? You can feel free to ask me before we continue. And if not, I will just jump right into example exercise. Great. I see for a Martin is fine. Okay. Example exercise for today is that so I've written that to grant IAM access to a user or group, follow these steps. So just watch me as I do this. Then for lab exercises, we are going to do it together. So for now, just watch me, please. 
So the first thing you have to do is to sign into Google Cloud as we have all done. I believe so. Then this for number two, click on the navigation menu. I've clicked on the navigation menu. Number three, locate IAM and admin. So just click on it. And it will open the IAM page. Now number four, turn to grant access. So you see grant access. You can see grant access here. So you just click on it and write wherever you want to grant access. Let's say I want to grant Father Martins. So I'll just write his name, Martins Omale. I think this is it, Mario's, Martins Mario TV. So I want to grant Martins access to my project, my project, because remember, this is Project Abel, grant access to Project Abel. So I've added Martins' name here. That's for number five. Then number six, you can see beneath the principal name, which is the user's name, you see assign roles. So I just come to this box and click on it. You see all manner of roles you can assign to Martin. All kind of, you can even search for it here. Many roles relating to the resources, the project, everything. You find them here. So this time I want to grant owner to Father Martin. So I'm just going to either type owner an owner will come out and I click on it and save. Or there are basic rules. That's why if you click on basic, you see owner, editor, browser, and viewer. So this is another way if you don't want to search. So feel free to search like I just did. So I'm going to do that. So Clement, please go ahead. Yes, go ahead with your question. But you are muted in case you are speaking. The screen, I mean, the screen is not changing from my end. Is there the same for everybody? For the mountains, can you see my screen or mowing? Can you see my screen, like what I'm doing? Or is it static? I can see what you are doing quite well. Okay. Mowing, how about screen. you? Okay. I can see the screen. I think maybe just um, reconnect. That, yeah. So you see now I've granted Father Martin's owner, then I will save you. Same, same here too. Okay, so now I've granted Martin's ownership on my project. You see now for Martin's, Martin's omale 9 at gmail.com. I've granted him owner and an invitation has been sent. That's why you see this warning sign here. Invitation sent pending acceptance. So Father Martin's, can you go to your email, your inbox, and you will see an invitation. Please go and accept it because I just I've given you ownership to my project. So please accept it and let us see what it does. Because I gave him owner, he can do anything. He has accepted. Accept. Accepted. Yeah, yeah. So the warning sign has has disappeared because he has accepted. 